Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're now tuned into Lady Scorpius Tarot. I am your host, Lady Scorpius. Today I'm going to be reading for the sign of Pisces, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018. This is going to be a love reading, running my holy wood, so you guys can know I'm cleansing my decks, positive energy. I'll be using my Dorian Virtue Love deck today, as well as my uh, Cosmic Tarot deck that I got in Florida. If you guys checked out my previous video for Scorpio, I'll let you guys know why I was gone for the month of June. I went away, away for a mental break, some peace and clarity, um, and just to get like some ocean vibes, you know. Definitely had to get my feet up in the ocean and hit the beach and relax and cleanse. And I got a lot of spiritual things um while I was out there, a lot of spiritual gifts I bought myself when I was out there. So protection necklace. I think I, I bought this. It was for my um it's for protection. I bought this, it's really pretty. Bought some decks, keepers of light, and I bought my cosmic tarot deck. Bought some beautiful a beautiful crystal wand. So, you know, my vacation was lovely. It was a spiritual occasion, it was a mecation, a mental break. So that's why I was going, you guys, but I also got some things done when I um, came back in June. I actually got my website completed. So I will leave the description in the inbox below or the description box below. Sorry. Um, as far as my new website, when you can book me for a personal reading, you can make a donation to my channel from there. You can purchase some items from my spiritual store on that site as well. And yeah, um, once again, if you check out my site, all emergency readings will be delivered same day or 24 hours. And one more announcement. I have also changed my email address. It's going to be Lady Scorpius Tarot at iCloud.com. So just letting you guys know that. And I'm going to be changing that as well on my YouTube channel. So a few changes going on for the month of July. And um, I'll include that description, that in my description box below as well. So let's get into it. So Universal Spirit, please give me messages from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 and love. What messages do you have in my Pisces? Some move out to Indian for the month of July 2018 and love. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, Pisces, your three cards flew out, so we have your three cards for today. All right. Okay. So the first card we have for you, Pisces, is express your love. Then you have free yourself. And then you have make the effort. So just looking from the cards, um, Pisces, I feel like it's time for you to express your love. You could be possibly in love with somebody, but you're not making an emotional or romantic gesture as you should. You could be possibly uh, basking in thoughts of feelings and emotions about this person and you you really want to move forward with this person you can't stop thinking about this person but you have not um been able to express your love and your passion for this person you have not been able to speak your truth about how you truly feel you might have tried to reach out to them and maybe had small conversation or small talk but i don't feel like pisces that you've been actually taking a step to speak your truth about how this person make you feel or how you've been feeling as far as this relationship has been going okay and with the free yourself i feel like it's time for you there's some of my pisces that's in relationships that's not working out some of you guys have been dealing with a situation where you need to free yourself you can be feeling like you're trapped or bound to a partner that you're not happy with and it could be possibly an earth sign or i see fire or air honestly it can be any sign but um with the free yourself card it's definitely time to take control back of your life but some of my pisces i feel like you have been letting your partner control your life so to speak or you've been kind of like going with the flow of things but not really really not really really taking the time out to be liberated and on who you are, you know, as a person, when it comes to your love life, you're not really stepping out and showing your partner who you can be and who you are, what you have to offer, what you believe in and what you feel is right. You kind of been taking like a back burner in your love life or in your relationship. And I really feel like you've been feeling codependent even within your relationship. Some of you guys might be feeling like you're just stuck in the situation with your love life and you know you're not truly fully happy, but you feel like you just have to sit, sit, sit here and stick in the situation or you feel like you're stuck in the situation or this relationship. But it's like, it's time to take control back of your life because you have not been taking control of your life, Pisces. 
when it comes to your love life. You've been allowing other people to control things for you. And so it's time for you to free yourself. And if you see this unicorn, like he's in a he's a unicorn, which is a very spiritual free animal, right? But he's bounded by a circular gate. So this person is like going through the same cycles of life, just going through the same circles, just just basically passing by time, letting things happen over and over again, but not allowing things to stop. You understand? If you see it's a cord tied to his neck, you can't really see it. But all you have to do is break the chains and stop the cycles uh, and the same patterns, Pisces. If you want things to change, then you have to make the change. And if you see this, how beautiful this unicorn is, if you cut the cord and you just stand up on your two full feet, on your four feet, four legs, and you jump over the gate, then you'll see, like, you can possibly, you can free yourself. You're not bound. It's all mental. It's all an illusion for you to feel like you're tied and bound to a situation that you're not even truly happy with or content with. But I really feel like, for some of my Pisces, like, it's things that need to be worked out within your love relationship. You need to start expressing yourself more because you haven't been happy about possibly how your partner maybe treated you in the past or how they can try been treating you now. But you also need to make the effort, too, because you really haven't been making the effort um, towards guiding your love life or your relationship in the direction you want it to go. And I feel like if you made a little bit more effort, Pisces, the things can kind of manifest in your direction. But you got to step up and do the work. You understand? Can't sit back and be quiet and just feel like you're bound to a situation and think it's going to change. It's not going to change if you're just sitting there, Pisces. So let's see. Why is this special love card here for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 in life? This kind of thought is special love card universal spirit for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 in love. Please clarify that special love card. I have a special love card here for my Pisces. I'm going to write the news for my Pisces. I'm going to write the news for my Pisces. Oh, shit. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse my language. All right. Too many cards. Too many cards. Well, I don't know if I want to say it's too many cards. Definitely see some of my Pisces know that there's been some secrets going on within your relationship and you are starting to use your higher self, your higher intuition to see the truth of what it is because you know some sneakiness been going on. Um, why is this special love card here for my Pisces? I move around to me. Universal Spirit, please clarify the energy of the special love card. This energy behind the special love card for Pisces, I move around to me. I'm not going to die to that type of thing. Clarify the special love card for my Pisces. I'm not going to die to that type Okay. One more call from my Pisces Summer Rides and Music and Mother Jana. We have to eighteen. Special love card, please clarify the special love card for my Pisces symbol rides and lose and that's gonna ask for me. Ooh. Okay. That's your energy. Okay, so with the um the princess of cups, Pisces. Once again, almost like Scorpio reading. You haven't been expressing your love, okay? You have been withholding back your emotions and you have been kind of being stern on your emotions. You haven't really been speaking your truth. Like you love this person that you're with. You're in a relationship. This, I feel like this is for my Pisces that's already in this relationship. You are in a relationship with somebody, possibly your earth sign or water sign. It can be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But it, once again, it could be any sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or, Le or Leo because I see on um, fire too. But with that being said, um, this is you. Like... Once again, holding back your emotions or holding back your truths, guarding your emotions, trying to guard your feelings and your thoughts with this person. But you do love this person and you do want to offer your cup. But you know, like this person is financially, the person that you're dealing with, the person you're in a relationship with Pisces, they're financially stable, right? They have a financial abundance or they make you feel financially secured and stable. And you know that you're secure and taken care of with this person. They're a family man. You might view them as this, as this type of person. A family man, financially stable, reliable, dependable. But this person has the six of cups, right? 
following behind it. So if somebody from the past is returning in your love life, and it could be your partner that has somebody that has returned back to them from their past, and you know this, and so it's like you've been feeling some ill wills about something, and you've been feeling like something is going on, um, but you haven't been speaking your truths, okay? Um, and also, I see another scenario for my uh, another scenario for my single. Pisces is that somebody from your past has returned back to you or you want to return back to somebody from your past and make an offer you know you probably want to apologize to them you just keep remembering all the good times y'all had together but you have not been able to express your love and um you haven't been able to tell them I, see, I feel like for my Pisces men my Pisces men it's a Scorpio woman I see a Scorpio cancer a Pisces woman but I see Scorpio woman that you Somebody from your past, from your childhood that you had a lot of good memories with and you remembering the good times y'all had together, how nurturing they, you felt around them, how loving this person was to you. Um, and you financially feel abundant now and you feel financially stable now and you want to make an offer to them and express your love, but you haven't been doing so. And for my Pisces females, you've been in a relationship with somebody that makes you feel financially secure. You're in a stable uh like financially stable relationship, but this person has some, but your partner has somebody that has returned back from their past and you know this. And so you want to express what you know, um, or speak your truth, so to speak. So let's see one more clarify. I think one more clarify for the six of cups. My Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2018. My Six of Cups here. My Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2018. Clarify the Six of Cups. Here. Yeah. Okay, for some of my Pisces, it's like, yeah, this person has somebody that returned back from the past, but it's like with the sun, you're trying to feel hopeful with the situation. You could possibly have a child by this person, so you're trying to remain hopeful and optimistic that things will change and things will move forward. You know, you have the Cancer card, the chariot, so it's like you want to move forward with things and you want to gain... Uh, you want to gain um, control of the situation. You're trying to gain control of the situation. You are finding balance within the situation, even though you might feel like you can't fully express yourself. But you definitely feel like this person, like, moving forward, you feel like this person is going to leave you on the cold. This person has left you on the cold. Maybe for some of my Pisces females, because I see a woman right here. Um, Pisces females can feel like you have a child. With this person now and like you want to move forward and move on from this person some of you guys want to move on from this person and see what else is out there and just kind of like take care of yourself and some of you guys want to just move on within the relationship and fix it and, and make it work and make it happen and find balance within it but what's going on is that you have the five of pentacles so it's like you feeling like financially lost or this person has left you out in the cold maybe this person has gave you an ultimatum saying you know i don't want to work on this relationship no more maybe they want to venture off and move forward without you and they're leaving you in the cold but that's what i see for some of my pisces okay that's not for all but that's what's clarifying that special love card so let's see what's going on for the free yourself so why is the free yourself card here for my pisces i'm moving around saying it's for the month of july 2018 and love. Why is the free yourself card here? Oh, okay. So, why is the free yourself card here? My Pisces Sun Moon Rising. I'm more clarify. So, why is the free yourself card here? My Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of July 2018. Clarify the free yourself card. My Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus. Okay. One more card. One more clarify. One more clarify. The universe is there. Why is the free yourself card here? My Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of July 2018. What is the energy behind the free yourself card? The Pisces Sun Moon Rising. The Venus for the month of July 2018. Why is the free yourself card here? Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus for the month of July 2018. Okay. Every card that popped out, universe, Universal Spirit popped them out for me. I did not ask, I did not pull these cards. They all flew out. The first card we have is the uh, um, Eight of Wands to the Seven of seven of pentacles and then we have the ten of swords so for the free yourself you guys like you guys been feeling really burdened with this relationship with this love life you feel like you want to gain control back of your life but you feel like it's an obstacle that you gotta hop over it's burdens that you gotta hop over something is blocking you from freeing yourself and you feel like you're you're guarded like you're guarding yourself like you're basically boxing yourself within a situation that you know that you have all freedom to remove yourself from you know you're trying to get over a hurdle you're trying to jump over boundaries and hurdles um from the situation and it's like you're not taking control of your life because it's a lot of burdens on your back and obstacles that you have to get over and it's been causing you to feel like mentally 
crazy. You understand? Like mentally messed up. But the seven of pentacles, some of you guys can be dealing with a loss of money and finances, or you possibly need to free yourself. And some of you guys possibly had lost your job or maybe lost some finances or possibly don't feel like you're financially where you want to be at within this relationship. You feel like some of my, some of my Pisces, you feel, um, like, you know, if you free yourself from the situation, what I'm seeing is that, you know, if you free yourself from the situation, it's going to be a huge obstacle, a huge burden to, to get over because then you're going to have to become financially dependent on yourself and you're going to have to pick yourself up financially, possibly, Start saving your money and finding another job and just doing shit all over again because you came from a relationship that was a stable environment financially, but mentally, emotionally, it wasn't. You understand? So with the Ten of Swords coming up, it's like you feel like you have blocked yourself from communication. Like you haven't been able to speak your truth to this person. You haven't been able to really like be real with yourself. You kind of been like blocking your third eye, blocking your intuition, blocking your truths, blocking yourself. This person has made you feel anguished. This person has made you feel mentally unstable and mentally drained and just feeling like you've just been stabbed in your back but the ten of swords is a completion to something so this is like a cycle that's being completed right now something has to end with this relationship um communication can have been cut off or y'all have been having nasty arguments with each other and just discontentment but i really feel like you feel emotionally like you, have, you feel mentally blocked and then Somebody put a boundary up to you, maybe possibly a fire sign has blocked you from communication or they're putting up boundaries with you, Pisces. It could be a Leo, um, Leo Aries or Sagittarius, Sagittarius that has blocked you from communication or has put up a block or um, boundary with you, um, so to speak. And so that has been making you feel like mentally just fucked up. So let's see. Watch the Ten of Swords here from my Pisces Summer Rise and Venus. What's the energy behind the Ten of Swords from my Pisces Summer Rise and Venus from the July 2018? What's the energy behind? Okay. Yeah, because the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What can you find about this Queen of Pentacles from my Pisces Summer Rise and Venus from July 2018? What can you find about this Queen of Pentacles from my Pisces Summer Rise and Venus What can you find about this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, but some of my Pisces with the Queen of Pentacles that came out, following behind as the Prince of Pentacles, like you're a water sign Pisces and you came up as the Queen of Cups earlier. So I don't feel like this is your sign. This is your energy. I feel like somebody that you've been dealing with have cut off communication or have blocked you from something. Um, maybe finances or resources or just communication or just blocked you from being around them, so to speak. And they could possibly be dealing with another earth sign. Um, Virgo Taurus or uh, Capricorn woman. They possibly have blocked you to, con to, to connect with a, a queen of pentacles. It could be somebody that they possibly work with or they know from work. Um, but they definitely have uh, put a block towards you or they're they put a block towards you and they've been dealing with somebody else and that right there has made you look at them as somebody that's not reliable now. You, you can't depend on them. You don't look at them as like a reliable, loyal, trustworthy person no more because they're doing stuff behind your back and with the nine of swords, like this person has been putting you through mental drainage. Like you just feel like they, with the snake right here, you feel like they're being secretive and sneaky and they're stabbing you in your back and they're doing some sneaky ass shit and some vengeful ass shit and it's like you cannot handle it no more. So it's definitely time to free yourself from things that no longer serve you, Pisces. And if you got to start on your journey by yourself and, you know, get a job, move out, Take yourself away from the stability. You know, if you got to kind of knock yourself off your, your comfort zone, so to speak, or your contentment to get yourself together, get your mind right, get your finances together, and just trust in yourself and love yourself first and, you know, work on your health, your mental health too, because your mental health has just been draining you. I feel like some of my Pisces have been depressed. Some of you guys are going through depression, anxiety, and you need to free yourself from that Pisces. You need to. And that's probably what the make the effort is. If you want to... Be loved, right? And you want things to change for you. You have to make the effort. So why does it make the effort card here for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 and love? Clarify to make the effort card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 and love. Clarify to the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, I'm sorry. Clarify to make the effort card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July. Clarify to make the effort. Okay. 
I'm going to clarify that I'm a Pisces. I'm going to write that he's going to be. Make the effort. Now, you coming up as the princess of sword, right? Or somebody around you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's around you. Right now, Pisces, you have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius woman around you that's telling you that you need to stick, stand up for your truth and you need to speak your mind and you need to cut the bullshit out that's not serving you and you need to speak your truth when it comes to what you don't tolerate, what you're going to tolerate, and how you feel within this love relationship. And also with the Princess of Wands, it's like maybe this can be your energy or this can be, yeah, you're very passionate about the relationship that you feel for this person. You're very passionate, but at the same time, you're kind of like, as the princess, not the queen, you're kind of like immaturely passionate about the situation. You could be handling things very immaturely, like you're not going by about your passions and your truth in a mature manner. Um... But I really feel like, you know, with the Seven of Cups, it can also possibly be that the person that you're dealing with has options. They could possibly be dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign and then be talking to you. And this is what has been causing you feeling mentally or well, emotionally just lost and sad and sorry because you know this person has options. You know this person has been doing things behind your back and has been giving their emotions to other people. And they feel us in, you know, time to other people. And here you are waiting on them and you're in a relationship with them and they can't even give you the offer. They can't even make emotional offer to you. They're not giving you the emotional satisfaction that you need because they're, they they got options. It's just what it is. They're talking to people from the past. They could possibly be dating other people, giving money and time to other people, Pisces, and like you're tired of it. I feel like with the Princess of Wands, it's like, yeah, this can be another person that they're dealing with because you have the Queen of Pentacles. They can be dealing with an older Earth sign woman and then they can be dealing with a younger uh, Fire sign woman. And then this is a a pipe or Gemini Libra Aquarius that's around you telling you that you need to stand up and speak the truth and stop just being passionate and lustful over this person and, and speak the truth because this person has a lot of options and they could be possibly being lustful. For my Pisces men, maybe it's your Pisces. It's, it could be a maybe you could be talking to a fire sign that has options. You understand? And it's been making you feel like you had emotional loss because you know this person has been. Multi, dealing with multiple people, you understand, and have a rose-colored glass on because the people that they're dealing with or the, the things that they're giving the emotions to are all illusions, right? So with the Queen of Pentacles, like I feel like with the make the effort card, make the effort card. It's like it's time for you, Pisces, to speak your truth. And and if you want to make effort in the situation, or if you want anything to change, or you want to see some type of change or something like that to manifest within this, you need to speak your truth. And do it passionately, you understand? And let them know, like, how they're affecting you. And let them know you know what's going on. Ask them what you want to know. Because there's definitely options out there. You, They have options. And they've been doing things and seeing other people. And you know it. And you've been feeling emotionally burdened from this, Pisces. And this is going to resonate with some of my Pisces, not all. So take the messages that resonate with you. But this is what's going on. Sorry right, about that, you guys. I had to take a quick pause. But I want to clarify. Before I get off of this, let me clarify one more thing. Because you definitely have to make the effort. But I want to clarify one thing. What's the energy behind this Princess of Wands from my Pisces, Summer Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018 and more? What is the energy behind this Princess of Wands? My Pisces, Summer Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2018. Yeah, the universe is asking you to definitely, when it comes to making an effort, you need to find balance and temperance within the situation. Like, look at the situation for what it is, and you could be possibly judging the situation for what it is and want some type of justice. Maybe some legal things that's going on with you guys, with your love partner, or your love interest. Maybe you want um, maybe some court fees. Um, some of you guys are possibly just, yeah, 
guys can be going through legal issues with your partner and or you could possibly be wanting balance within a situation and just want truth and justice and peace and balance and it's like in order to get that you have to make the effort and speak your truth and speak your clarity if you've been hurt somebody has wronged you in the past with this eight of cups don't sit there in sorrow definitely make the effort to become more stable within yourself pisces and focus on yourself self-love self-healing and move forward so i really hope my messages resonated with you pisces sorry if i had a, a quick pause i had to take a phone call from my mom <laughs> but yeah uh well, phone or text, but I really hope that you guys, um, hope my messages resonated with you all. Um, and also once again, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Um, also check out my new website. I'll leave the information in the description box below, as well as my new email, which is going to be Lady Scorpius Tarot at iCloud.com. You can email me in reference to a reading inquiry, any inquiries you got, any comments, anything you want to share with me. Uh, whatever the case may be. Um, if you want to talk to me, if you want to donate something to me, I take tarot decks too as well. I'm a tarot collector. I love my decks. But um, yeah, so I hope my message resonates with you all and I hope you guys have a wonderful July. If I have enough time, I'll come back and do my general readings. So stay tuned for that. Peace and love.